Day for today's Small Business Boot Camp. I am Robert Theobald, Small Business Ombudsman and Vice President of Small Business Services here at the Arizona Commerce Authority. And we're glad to have you with us today. Uh, we got a good group here today. So let's start by posting up in the chat where you are tuning in from. Um, I know we've got, I see a name from Sholo. So Jennifer, thanks for attending. Uh, we've got people from Flagstaff, Gilbert, Page, Tucson, Gilbert, Prescott, Mesa, Sedona. All right, Mesa, we got lots of people all over the place. Again, post up in the chat where you're tuning in, Cornville, Casa Grande, Tempe. We got somebody from over in Yuma. We got Sunny Lakes, Goodyear, Salt Lake. All right, we're interstate now. Oh, Glendale, Sierra Vista, Mesa, Window Rock. All right, thank you for joining from Window Rock. Hello. Sedona. Kingman, all right, we got the West Side. Gilbert, we got coverage all over. Douglas, all right, thank you. Well, we got coverage all over the state. We're excited about that. We even have somebody from Salt Lake tuning in. So we're glad to have all of you with us today. Um, all right, we got somebody tuning in from Torrance, but they're from Surprise. Excellent. Thank you, Tricia. So we're excited. Uh, we've got a great session. Bahamas, all right. Like that, I wouldn't mind being in the Bahamas right now on vacation. All right, well, great group. Uh, thank you. We got people tuned in from everywhere, so uh, we're glad to have you with us. Again, we're always welcome people from from all over the state and all other from other states and countries and places. So Nigeria, excellent. Thank you for tuning in, Salma. You're welcome to tune in anytime. All right. So with that, we if you're new to the boot camp, um, looks like many of you may be. We'd like to start by thanking all of our community partners. We cannot do these boot camp webinars um, without our experts, their time, their effort, and their expertise. Um, they willingly give back uh, to share this information with you, um, and so it's very much appreciated. Again, for those that are new, the Small Business Boot Camp is designed to help small businesses prepare, plan, and grow your business. It is not only our Tuesday morning 9 a.m. webinars. Again, we do these Tuesday morning ones every week. Um, but we also do workshops, lunch and learns, uh, in-person workshops, uh, virtual workshops um, to help support small business and the small businesses and their founders, owners, and help them grow. And I'll talk about one here in a little bit. Um, also, a key part of the boot camp program is our content library. We record all of our webinars, so if you can't make it on a Tuesday morning, um, you can go in on Wednesday morning or Wednesday afternoon and watch the recording. Uh, we post all of them in the content library, and we include the slide decks and any other materials our presenters want us to share. Uh, it's a great resource, and again, there's no cost to access that either. So just some of the programs that the ACA has that support small businesses. Uh, these are just six of those programs. There are more. You can access those on our website under azcommerce.com forward slash programs. One program we do like to talk about, and you can find it there with that QR code, is our small business checklist. And this is an online interactive checklist that helps uh, entrepreneurs, business owners, or larger businesses understand the commonly requested licensing, registration, and compliance needs, not only for the state of Arizona, but narrowing down to the local areas um, and even touching on federal requirements. Uh, so it's a great resource. Uh, we include every incorporated city in Arizona in that. So if you're looking to expand into another community or uh, relocate to one, it can help you identify if you need business licenses and other requirements. So it's a great tool. Also, we want to mention that our Small Business Digital Academy cohort is the applications for it are open now. Uh, it's going to start up at the beginning of May, I believe. Um, 
and the applications again are open now. The Small Business Digital Academy is a three week uh, course that we do cohort style, it's kind of class style, it's virtual. Uh, so you can access it from anywhere. And we bring in our experts and we focus on kind of marketing in the digital world that your business has to, to work in in this day and age. So um, we have a lot of great partners. Our presenter today is also one of our partners on that. So um, if you like what our presenter Karen has today, then you can join that cohort and, and hear more from her on different topics. Uh, so with that, well, let's look at our upcoming sessions. We've got a great lineup in store over the next few weeks, and we've got a great lineup in store all the way into June that I have scheduled out, and we continue through the year. But uh, next week is constructing and updating your core marketing message uh, with Duke Mahervey. He's going to be a new presenter for us, so we're excited to have Duke with us on that one. And then Pathways to Prosperity, Navigating Capital Readiness for Arizona Entrepreneurs. Um, this is a really exciting one because it's a new uh, presentation and it ties into the state small business credit initiative technical assistance program, uh, which is a federal program and is part of this is part of our state's plan. Um, so it's gonna be brand new and we're excited to launch it on April 23rd. And then we've got a great presentation, The Hidden Costs of Living Out of Your Business. And we're going to dive into this one on how to not let your business run you and how to not blur your personal expenses with your business expenses and the bands of keeping everything separate. So it's a really exciting uh, session coming up. So we've got a bunch of great sessions. But everybody's here for today's session. Oh, wait, we got one more thing. We have a lunch and learn on Friday. So as I mentioned, we do other things besides this boot camp. This Friday, we have a lunch and learn with the Arizona Small Business Association um, talking about harnessing untapped talent resources. We know a lot of small business owners uh, struggle to find quality employees uh, or in some cases struggle to find any employee. And so this is an opportunity to look at the untapped potential of fair chance hiring for small business. Uh, there's no cost to attend that and the registration link is on our bootcamp page. So with that, we are going to jump into today's session. We have Karen Hewitt back with us again. Uh, Karen is a marketing expert and a Canva expert. And she took a four-week course on Canva that she did and crunched it all down into a one-hour session with us. Uh, so we're excited. There's going to be a lot of content. She's going to move fast. But if you have questions, post those in the Q&A. And so if we can't get to all the questions today, we can share that information with Karen and she can get back with you. But uh, Karen, with that, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and turn it over to you and let you take over. Thank you so much, Robert. Okay, gonna go ahead and start sharing. And don't be afraid to put questions in the chat, okay? Because I'm here to help and give you as much as I can. And this is going to be a lot of information and that's okay. And just give you a little bit more about me. Hi, I'm Karen Hewitt. I do social media coaching and management, and I've been doing this since 2017. And the thing about me is I want you to be authentic in your business. There's so much copy paste out there. You need to shine through. People do business with you because you are you. I've been with the ACA as a mentor and doing boot camps since early of 2023. And a little bit about me, I have five kids, which is why two digital, because it's the best way to be. I'm originally from the UK. Soft spot for sci-fi, in particular Doctor Who. If you watch Doctor Who and have a favorite doctor, go ahead and pop it in the chat. Mine is obviously Doctor Ten, David Tennant. And just to give you an idea, do you know what the national animal of Scotland is? Official national animal of Scotland. You can go ahead and Google it, but I'm going to share with you. It's actually the unicorn. The unicorn is the official animal of Scotland. So if they can have that as their national animal, I guarantee you can be magical too. With that, we're gonna go into Canva and don't worry, I have created a handout, which at the end of the session, Faith's gonna drop into the chat for you so you can see this with videos to help you out. So we're gonna go ahead with getting started. We're gonna go over the workspace. We're gonna go over the tools in Canva. 
We're going to go over fonts and hyperlinks. The biggest one I get asked about is the Canva Magic Studio. And then we're going to finish up with some of saving and sharing your projects. So first, let's get started with Canva. Now, Canva is an account. There is a free account, there is a pro account, and there is a team account. I always do recommend the pro account if you are in business. And I'm going to explain a little bit why I do that. But you can do the majority of what I'm going to show you with a free account. The pro account does allow you some extra things. It allows you some premium content. It allows you to have some extra design tools. It gives you some of the AI features, but it also allows you to have a brand account where you can put your colors and your logo and everything as a saved setting to make things even easier. So you would pick your account, follow the prompts to do your registration, and then confirm your account by email, and you're going to be all ready to go. Now, I'll be honest, I have a team account, and that's because I do have my team all on there, and there's different prices once you get above five. And here is what your Canva is going to look like when you first come in. You're going to have your start, you're going to have a create a design button at the top. This is basically how it looks. You have your, down the side, you have your home, your projects, your templates. Your brand hub, as you can see there, the little crown on it means it's one of the pro features and different apps. And with this create a button, you can choose a pre-sized or even a custom size in your measurements. So we're diving right in. And I'm gonna show you how these look from the templates. So when you pull up a template, I chose Instagram because I think most small businesses are using Instagram to showcase their business. So it was one of the quickest and easiest ones to show. And when you pull it up in the template, and I selected social media and Instagram posts, you're going to see right here, you get to either create a blank or they have all these templates. Remember I was saying about a pro versus a non-pro? Here with this black and white one, for example, that is not a free template. And the ones that have the pro, because they have elements on it, those are the paid templates. You can also filter it out, for example, like beach, and you can put keywords in to pick something. And you can then just click on the one that goes, mm, I like the look of that, like Instagram post beach. And these give you a whole bunch of beachy theme ones. If you're a baker, you can literally put baking in there. If you offer, if you're a clothing beauty, you can literally put clothing in to get different templates. They have hundreds of thousands of them to help you out. So this is how you start your design. If you look right here at the top of the page, it says, what will you design today? Selecting on the social media, Straight across the top right here is what would come up under the social media. You could either edit a photo, Instagram post, Facebook post, story, WhatsApp status, and it scrolls along. And when you click on this, this is the thing I love about Canva more than anything. It has the perfect sizing already built in. So you don't have to be like, mm, hang on, what, what, what size do I need to make my Instagram story picture? Oh, what, what size do I need for a Facebook cover for my Facebook page? Or what size do I need for LinkedIn? You don't need to do that. It literally has it all preset for you. So it is stress-free. You can also do auto sizes. Or change your own system. This here, I don't know if anyone's done this. You've had a that you need to put in a magazine or a newspaper and they say okay well I need it to be 220 by 450 right here you can put it in and it will create you a template that size so you don't have to worry did I get it right did I miss it is it going to be the right size when I submit submit it but most people quite literally use the preset sizing with Canva for the different pieces out there they have business cards social media they have flyers, they have magazines, the templates are endless. So how are we going to start it? Well, we're going to come over to the sidebar right over here that's on the side of your screen. And you would choose your home as your main page. Projects are projects you've already saved. We'll go over Magic Studio later. 
templates are three sets of templates and then your brand is your brand package. We're going to go and click on templates and this is what drops out. You have business, you have social media, education, video, marketing. Remember I told you lots of options and I yes, I'm going very fast but, and we're going to try and help clear all this up. I just picked social media because I find that most entrepreneurs, you, there's a tendency to want to use things like this to print for their business cards. And it's when they get to social media, how do I create my social media posts? How do I put something on TikTok or Instagram, you know, or LinkedIn video ads? What do I do? So we're clicking on social media and it gives you the list of the different sizes that are available. It also gives you featured collections that come up across the side. So as you can see, threads are a big deal right now because they're new, so it comes up. Your college prediction cinematic travel, just to give you ideas of themes that are popular. So you're not gonna be without ideas. And the other one I really always like to look at for businesses is the promo and sales templates, because it gives you ideas of how to post sales posts and give you templates ready to go. You can just edit. So yeah, this was a lot about your, about your templates and everything like that. So we're going to start a design real quick. Now I've shown you the templates. So right here, I've put in there summer sale. How do you, and it even comes up with ideas of things to do. It prompts you announce a some special sale. Announce a special sale on your Facebook posts, you know, sale covers, Facebook posts, search for someone's sales. 315,000 possible templates. I told you there was a lot. <laughs> but this is so you get some choice. And once you have a template you like, you can just go in and edit that and create, make that something that's a go to to keep your branding consistent. We have filters, categories, and media, and it gives you all these different ideas that you can pick from to choose something that helps you out. So that was your templates, but I wanna show you before we go into how to edit all these is the workspace, because as soon as you click a template, you have to edit it. So here we go, here's your workspace, and we're gonna go through these one by one. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to go over resizing for you afterwards, Sarah, because that is definitely something you can do. And I actually take full advantage of that on many occasions. So if we go here, this is once you open a template, this is how your workspace looks. I do want to make a note, if you see the crown icon, that means it's a pro feature and not available with a free account. But if you take a quick look here, there's not much you see with the crown on there. It's when you go into different areas. So your first one here is, one is the position, which is, we're gonna go this right here across the top, first piece here, is that's the position so you can layer things, you can bring things forward in design, make things a backdrop in a design, align text and different areas. Transparency is to change the transparency from being a full block or even fade it out. Then you have the copy and paste tool to copy and paste styles in your designs. And then you can also lock elements in your designs to stop them from moving. If we go across down, start from the top down, this is your template button at the top. Elements, what elements are things like frames, graphics, uh, doodles, pictures, images, uh, there's some videos that you can use. There's sounds you can use. These are all the things that you can play with. Think of them like your stickers. Think about them like your coloring pad. Think about them like your scrapbook. These are the different pieces that you can play with to make pieces work. Then you have your text. Your text is all your different text sizes and fonts. They also have some pre-designed ones to stand out. Your brand hub, again, this is your branding kit. That one is the pro feature. You have your uploads. This is where you upload images of your products, images of you, videos that you took. This is where you upload um, 
any form of image, video, or file to use. We have a free hand draw for those that are artists and like to play around because, you know, why not? You can have fun with this. Canva takes away a lot of other apps and puts them in one. Projects is where you save all your wonderful work. Apps are different apps that they have available. You can know, put gifts in. The Magic Studio comes in here, things like this. Photos are preset photographs that they have. For example, if you need a picture of the Arizona desert, but you can't find one you like, there's probably 10 or 20 of them that you will like in this photos. You need a video. They have videos that are already there that you can use. And they're ones that you can use without worrying about because they're included in your account. For example, I did a video of a beach with the waves crashing just to tell people to take a minute and breathe. And if already it's going too fast, breathe. It's okay. And then we have the background right here at the bottom. And that's the background of your image. Across the top, very similar to your Word or any other documents, you have your file type, your size, font color, bold, italics, underline. You can change your font from uppercase to lowercase with a click of a button. So no, you do not have to delete and retype because you accidentally did it in uppercase instead of lowercase. You can do that right here with this one button. You have your font adjustments, which is your you know left, middle, right, justified. You have your bullet points and you can do little dots. You can do numbers, you can do ABC and your spacing of how close or far apart you want your text. You have effects, which are different effects you can add to your images, such as being have a background shadow so it looks more three-dimensional. Animate is a movement. If you saw the unicorn was kind of dancing a little bit, I animated it. <laughs> and that was just something a little fun there to hang, you know, to throw up there. Works so very quickly, how did you get into workspace? Workspace is as soon as you pick that template. The workspace is right there. Okay. So this is the next step. So you select one of the you select one of the templates and then you will have the template open in the workspace. Your brand items are accessible to anyone. So the brand is accessible to who you and what you put in there. And if you add a team, your team can have access to that. But it's not that you upload it and everyone has it. Your Canva may look slightly different because of Pro. Yes, I'll go over schedule and post really quick. Yes. And finally, does Canva allow you to upload and edit video? Yes, I actually use Canva to do all of my videos. Okay. So again, we just go over this. It was the design templates, projects and photos that you've created, photos that you can use, all that. The brand templates. This is what was being asked in one of the Q&As. I just pulled a screenshot from one of mine. You can add a new brand template, which is in the pro kit, which is what you would do straight away. Here's my brand kit. And as you can see, it shows my little cherry blossom and some colors. But if we go in here, I have my different ways my logo presents itself. I also have a signature that I did for when I want to just throw a signature onto my, you know, my images or my flyers or anything like this. And I put that all in my logos because these are now transparent. And I've done it in two different ways here. So you're not limited to only uploading one version of your logo. I have different logos for different scenarios or placements on items. And I have them all right there. Then you get to put your colors in. If you see, I have two color palettes. And there's a reason for this. This is my color palette for overall. And yes, it looks like a lot of colors. I know that is because I have all my highlight colors and low light colors for videos on my website. But this is my social media palette. And I have the black and white always in there because those are good font and transition colors. But as a general rule, my social media posts are pink, blue, purple. Can you tell that pink is kind of a thing that I do with even this presentation? And the pink is the same pink as my brand kit. 
You also then can put your fonts in and you literally can choose the font and have them preset for titles, subtitles, headings, subheadings, section headers. And you can see these are different because my texts are different and that's already set in. So you're not searching for colors or for font types when you're doing it. Another way you can do it for your brand voice, and this is, I pulled this from a blank one, is you can write guidelines for when you're using the Magic Studio of how you want your audience. Are you, are you professional that works with a specific audience member? Is your voice, my mind personally says that I'm sassy and I'm fun. I like bright colors and I'm a very upbeat social media brand. If you are a chef or you have a restaurant, you can put in there that you are someone who is a down to earth cooking expert in a restaurant that wants to bring people in for like family style dinners and have that down to earth, humble family based vibe. Or if you're an upscale, we are an upscale French restaurant that deals with five stars. We have a Michelin, whatever that is, you can put that in there so you have those tools. You can also save photographs, graphics, or icons that you use a lot. So for me as an entrepreneur, my picture is in my photos because I will sign off my picture with different social media posts. So that is your workspace. I'm just quick checking. If we don't have the icons, videos, or background on the left side, but it seems to be happy. Teams account. It could just be that it's under your elements. Uh, my presentation is on a Mac, and yes, the detail uh, you can use a mobile device, and it's just that the, the bars tend to be across the bottom or across the top on the phones. So it's slightly different. So this is where you upload your own photos. See with the upload buttons. You upload your photos and videos. Can we just select upload files and click add? You can also, from a Mac, you can just drop and drag. There is also a library of photos that you can use. But please, if you see anything in the library that has the crown, that is for pro users anywhere. So with the uploads, as you can see, you can have images, videos, and audio. I didn't do anything about editing videos today because I am compressing about four weeks worth of in information into an hour long presentation, but that is going to be there. And then we have your elements. Remember I was telling you about the elements that are right here. One of the most popular one is your photo grids. And this allows you to put multiple images onto one graphic. So you find your main elements, you can click see all to expand. You can, with the grid spacing, once you select the one you want, you adjust the spacing by clicking spacing and then you just slide the bar from left to right. And then you add the images from your uploads or from Canva photos to make them how you want them to look. So this is your photo grid, your elements. Your photo frames, there are so many photo frames, again, in Elements, you just put photo frames or you scroll down, they have them sectioned out. It has many different shapes and style photos to pick from, including basic shelves, so either have phone mockups, laptop mockups. They have letters that you can like type a word and then put images into the word. There is a lot of different ways that you can play with this and have fun and you can just drop and drag and crop the images into your photos. Now, these are great for business posts. As you see right here, I have a phone mock-up where it shows it as if you're looking on the phone, images. You just select your frame you want and play with it. And you can even do the same with video. The frames will allow you to put in images and videos. Let me see. Yes, you can have multiple brackets in, uh, in Pro. So. Uh, I think I have like five different brackets in mine, personal one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and share again because apologies, the wrong one. Of course, I'm having a, my computer is deciding to, this is overwhelming. 
oh my gosh, I'm so like two basic colors, brand and social media, stay on brand. We have a pro account friendly of mine. Okay. I'm just quickly scrolling where I'm going because what I'm going to do, 10, okay, I'm I'm with Kate, Dr. Ted. I'm just quickly checking out. So now what I want to know, is there any questions real quick that I can answer from that? Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up an image and we're going to do a little bit of what I've just shown you live. So that way you can see what is going on. I'm just checking with you because I want to make sure you're all good. All good, 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 awesome. Good here, awesome. Yes. Why is my, of course my computer is deciding to be a little bit crazy today, not sharing what I want it to do. Why does it always do this to me? There we go. Can we see my screen right now? It was just being a little bit of a funsies. Yeah, we can see it. Perfect. Okay, so right here, what I have is I just have a blank image. Okay, this is, I chose the blank instead of a template. And if we look right here, we have a whole bunch of templates that we can pick from. Okay, so just to give you an idea, you can scroll through or you can even search templates to find something that you would like. For example, we have some ideas up here that you may want to do that are common. So happy Easter hiring. I think hiring is a good one because we're always looking to build our teams. So you can pick up here. You have a we are hiring different things you can do. And I'm going to just select a random one. So we'll go ahead and pull this. Now, as you can see, this, I don't know if that image is right for me, for my business. We can come over to our elements on the side. And we can look at photos and I'm going to think, who in elements, what should we do? Let's do a restaurant, a chef cooking image. Because maybe we're hiring for our bakery or maybe we're hiring for our restaurant. We Maybe we need a sous, a sous chef, for example. And right here, I have chef cooking. And as you can see, if you don't have images of your own restaurant to go in, you can pull these in. And I might say, OK, I want this image and I'm going to drag that over and just drop it in. And you see how it automatically took that through. When you right click, when you click on it, the three dots, it gives you different ways that you can do to the images. You can add a link, you can align it, you can duplicate, you can copy style. At the top, we can edit the photo. So we want to edit the photo, flip it, animate it, position it, transparency, copy style. We can do all that and we can also change the size just by dragging it around. Yeah, you know, I wasn't too keen on that one. I need a video. I think a video would be a little bit more fun because I'm going to put this on Instagram. And if you, so if you just drop it here, it doesn't go on to the thing, but you drop it into your template. Right there, you have a video that will play live on social media. To click, you can change your text. As you see my blanket, I have different blankets, as you can see for the question that came up on the chat. And I can change the text to different ones. I can add a text like so. I can delete the text. I can select it all. I can change it to this style and put this, you know, this different style in just by clicking, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just change the staff of this one. As you can see, it comes up with what is already on the document, what they recommend may be a good font to use. Then it comes up with, oh, these are the fonts from your brand kit. So I want to keep it branded. So I'm going to change it to overlock because that's my branding. Or you can even go through popular fonts and pick the ones that you like. 
in the elements, you can also pick out graphics. So if you didn't want to photograph, and this is still going with the one item I put in the search bar. This is a pro, this one is not. So you can see the differences here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a magic trick real quick, because this is why I always tell people to do the pro. Yellow is not my color. Okay, yellow is not my color. So I've got here, I've got my three palettes that I use. I have my full brand color. I have one when I want to just do something soft and feminine, and then I have my quick social media basic. So I'm going to come in here and, oh, it's because this is a background that is not a and again, we get to look at different ones. So we're going to replace the detached image because that is an image, not a background. See, even I got something there. So you're never going to be perfect. It's always something to learn. But right here, I can shuffle. And it's changing the colors on my item to mix my branding automatically. And if I come back and just go to home, I had a question about how to get into your workspace. So we can come in and like, we want to do, let's do a Facebook post. And I'm popping that open right here. I'm in the workspace. And I have the templates right here that I can change and do things with my templates. So if I pull this one, this is a quote for this person. You can change that image there oh you can see I was working on this template to make it for what it was because you see my uploads but you can change that template right there and I can put in an image of myself instead this is one where I felt pretty and I can put a quote in from myself there instead it's all about drop and drop and drag okay All right, so that is a quick way to go ahead and grab those. Did that, okay, it's good to see you live. Good, good, awesome. I'm just checking in because I am throwing a lot of information at you and I like to check in and make sure that everyone is good on that because it's a lot. <laughs> so here are the effects. We went over this. We're going to go over this a little bit more. Spacing changes your spacing between so you can spread them out or bring closer effects. This is where I'll say you can add a shadow, a slice, a glitch. So it's got a set color. You can offset it in directions. So, for example, here's a splice right here where I have gone ahead and added like an echo. If you look, it's off centered, it's not quite lined up. And that's to make it stand out a little bit more. Your anime allows your texts to move. You can rise up onto your screen, you can pan and cross, you can fade them out, you can make them pop up, you can make them seem to breathe. This will change your transparency of your photograph. So you can do it so it's more blurred out. It's great if you wanna put text out on front of it. Right here, then we go into positions so you can make here again there's an example where what we did is we put a circle to put the circle behind the x's or in front of the x's with the position tool we can make things go back a level forward a level so you can layer it and wrap things together and then with the arrange you may have seen this in like photoshop it has a similar system to photoshop so you still have that photoshop functionality so you can drag and you can literally drop and drag these layers up and down at the same time Now, I saw this one already, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do this because I love to do this. This is one of my favorite tools, and this is the resize tool, okay? Now, the copy and resize will create a new design, and the resize will change the current design. This is one of the biggest time savers I have ever seen in Canva, and I don't know of another program that does it as efficiently as Canva does, and this is to resize your program in any type of way. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to go back to, can we still see my screen? Making sure. 
Yes, we can still see your screen. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go here and let's say I just wanted to resize this particular one because now I need this to be a Facebook story or an Instagram story. So we're going to hit the resize right here and I want it to be an Instagram story. I hit continue and I'm going to, it's already given me the preview of it and I can copy and resize, open my story and it is in that style here and you can just edit it and it's easier to edit a little bit than it is to try and edit it all and recreate it. So sometimes I will just go ahead and change it around, see what I want. And go, okay, well, now it's resized. I've moved it over and I'm and I'm done. Now this is taking me two seconds to go ahead and resize into a different size than the five to ten minutes to recreate it. You can then go ahead and resize again and see all. Again, they have all the sizes right down here. I'm going to go ahead and pick a different design, which will be hmm, let's have a look at a different design. I right. and you can add pages and do it. So if we have here, this is a Facebook cover. And I really like this. And I'm like, mm, I think I want to turn this into a business card. Because this is just, I'm, I'm, I'm liking how this looks. This feels good for me. This feels good for my brand. You can go ahead and it will preview it. Copy and resize. Open. And there you go. And now you can just add in the details that you want to put on your business card right here. And Canva also gives you the option to print to ship so you don't even have to use Vistacard anymore. It is right here with the price up front without any hidden items. So this is the magic resize button, which I think is such a time saver. And best time does that aim for document. I would use flyer for the eight by five to 11, because eight to five, yes, you can resize manually by, I'm, I'm trying to grab our questions too. So if you wanted to resize, you can resize by custom size. This is if you have the, the dimensions you need. And right here, this is the size it is here. You can change it. So I want to resize this to a four by, hang on, a four by two. And it gives me how it would look. And it goes in, copy and resize, large designs, and it allows me to open that. So instead of just picking a template, you would go in and custom size. You can browse by social media, print products, presentations, videos, websites, and more. Okay, does that answer those questions? Heather, don't worry about this. I'm going to show on how to download it afterwards. Okay. We are going to do how to do sizing. So there we go. That is your resize. I hope I answered those questions on that. Then it's fonts and hyperlinks. Oh my God. Now I'm just and I even, and you do have this in the handout, I put some together that work well together if you're not sure. So you always want a different font for your heading that you have for your subject because it helps separate them out. These are some that work really nicely together. And I wanted to give the, some ideas so you didn't feel like, oh, I, I need to start from scratch. You don't want to have everything in the same font. You want to have at least two and you want to be able to make one bold if necessary. And again, you can link your, when you put text in things, you can actually, so when you email things out, you'll find in the document I said there are links in there. You would click on the 
button on what you want. You would right click on the element and you would choose link and you can add the link. So if you have uh, make reservations to get your hair done. So maybe you're a stylist and you're offering a special on colors. You can link your reservation page or your seat page by cl clicking on, you know, right click and choose link link and then put that in there and now when someone clicks on that button it'll take them right to the website that you put in if you want to link text you highlight it and then the link icon appears so you can add in that text there this is the one i get the most questions about because people see this and they get scared about it because magic studio it's ai it's changing a few things so I wanted to share it because you can take a lot of your images and help improve them or find things that you want. One of my favorite things is the background remover. Let's say you took a picture of your product and when you look at it, you're like, this is the best picture I have ever taken of this particular product in my life, but I wish I didn't have that pencil on the table. I wish I didn't have the background, the stuff there altogether. You literally just click background remover and it takes it away, it takes the entire background away to give you this blank slate. So what here, what we did is we took an image, removed the background, then added a text and moved that behind the removed image, the background. So the text became the background. So it looked like the person was sat in front of the text. So that is the layering. So you can add text, you can add different colors of images on the background, different pieces like this when we're moving the background. My next one is that magic eraser. Again, like I said, you took, you're like, this is the perfect candle picture I've taken in so long. I wanna do it, why I shouldn't have had that incense there because it takes away from the image. You can select magic eraser and then you tap it and then you use the brush to literally draw over the items you want to remove and it removes it. So like I said, Canva also has all these Photoshop elements in there as well. This is really good when you're trying to take pictures for your social media and you realize that something was in there by accident. So if you're a bakery and you take a picture of your latest cake, but you realize you accidentally left a dish towel, you know, a towel or something behind it, you can just go in there and remove that towel. Or if you took a picture of a dress and someone was stood behind and you didn't want them to be stood there, you can go ahead and use this to remove that. So the Magic Eraser is a great tool. Magic Expand, this is one of my favorite AI because sometimes we get a picture and it won't fit because we still want the two side elements in. It isn't perfect yet, but it is better than a lot of them out there. So in Magic Expand, you can go in, take an image, tell you want to expand one-to-one. -one, and as you can see, you have a slight disjointed line here, but I would just put a text piece over that to, to mask it and it gives you the fuller image. I've also find it handy when someone sends me an image to put in a flyer and the image isn't wide enough or long enough, I will magic expand it so it looks more seamless without having to go, oh, I need you to change your dimensions. And it works better than just putting a border around it. And I'll be honest with you, I have not had anyone point out that I have done that yet. They haven't noticed, they just thought it was the image because I've just made it look seamless. So this is your magic expand. Then you have magic edit. You have an image that you've picked up and you're like, oh my goodness, I wish it was something different. I wish there was something different in our hands. Oh my gosh, I love this picture of me holding, but I'm holding my phone. I wish I was holding a passport instead. Uh, this picture is great, but instead of it being what instead of it being a glass of Coke, I wish it was a glass of wine to put in you can go in and actually do the magic edit and it will give you multiple choices to pick and choose to make sure you like what you see. So right here, I just had to hold roses instead of paper. Your magic grab, 
allows you to move something out of the background without removing the entire background. So with this image, we made it so it's almost like she was stood against the wall. This is a great way to do it so we can put text. I have some differential. So it allows you to select what you remove. And then you'll grab text. Now, this is if you've already done work and they've sent you something like this, but you're like, oh, I wish I could change. I need to change something. Uh, this example was, I, and this is, I used the, one of my friend's examples. They had their wedding, they had their wedding invites done. And he goes by his middle name. He doesn't go by his first name. And the designer used his first name. So we just grabbed the text and changed it to their middle name. And it's just because they're not big on their first name. So with the magic grab, you can take something from like a PDF that is locked and take the text so you can edit it. This tool can be a little unreliable, but it is one of their newer tools. And then we have photo filters so you can change some of the backgrounds. One of my favorites to use is the blur the background, especially for businesses. When you take a picture of a, a meal in a restaurant, you want to blur that background to soften it. This is a tool that is in there. You can add autofocus blur. You can add shadows or even change the filter on the item. Play to find out what you want. Now, this is a question I saw. How do you save and share a project? So once you've designed it, you click on the little share button at the top of the screen. You can choose whether you want to share it for someone to look at it. You can choose whether to share it's brown link download or share on social. I'll do the share on social in a minute. So download, you would click that and you would choose how it'll then come up with how do you want to share it? Do you want to do a PDF, JPEG, PNG, MP4? Download it and then you can have it on your computer to send. However, oh, as you will see, I shared this entire handout with videos in a Canva link that Faith is going to put into the chat in a minute or two. So you can go through and see it all over again and with some video tutorials as a live Canva presentation. Or you can share on social and you can schedule it or publish it directly. You do have to link all of your social medias to get this done. As you can see, you can do Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Facebook group is going away on April 30th. They've changed their API, so don't get hooked on doing that. There will be another option, but we're still working on that because of an API change. You select your channel, you write your schedule, and then you can either publish now or schedule it. Okay, this, this system does require you kind of knowing when's best to schedule on your platform. It doesn't have the recommended best times to publish which I don't use this personally for scheduling. I actually do use another tool, but this is a great way to have it all in one if you're paying for a pro. So with that, okay, anyone else head spinning? <laughs> that, that is the end of presentation. I'm gonna share a couple of things with you. One, I've asked Faith to drop in a link to the handout. And Robert, I managed to do it before 10 o'clock. I also shared a video with Faith that's on my YouTube that was something I did when I was doing a regular training and I happened to catch it in my recording. So it's an unedited video. Sorry, my son's laughing. And it's how to create 100 pieces of content in five minutes on Canva using the AI. And I'm also going to offer a couple of other things. You just got my light version of my Canva training. I'm offering my full version of my Canva training, which is a lot more information, including how to use ChatGPT with it for free for anyone here. If they want to go onto any of my, I have some social media, you leave a review of my training today on there, and I'm going to reach out to you with your email and send you over a $40 version of my training booklet for free. And I do have the guidance there. And I also have a mailing list where I put a lot of training out for free. And I gave that link over to there as well. So you can jump on that and get a lot of things for free on there as well. I just did a 48 times types of social media posts you can create freebie on that. So <laughs> Robert, I did it. One hour. 
You did, yeah, we have a, a few minutes left, so we can. We have a ton of questions in there. I think with the questions, I may have to just download these from Zoom and send them over to you. Well, um, please, if there's anything outstanding, let's go ahead and see if I can answer them. I'd love to help. And I've also, what I've also said, Faith just posted my newsletter link. You get 48 social media and you'll get all my other trainings that I do for free. I also did let Faith know uh, if anyone's really struggling, I have an ACA commerce mentor link where I do small mentor sessions for free and you can actually book on my calendar and I can help you out a little bit for no cost yeah. because I uh, want people to succeed. Absolutely. So I'm trying to look and see if there's some simple questions that kind of cover everybody. One was... Um, Uh, let me go. Oh, if you have one business with multiple projects, can you have different brand kits and logos for each project in pro? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can have multiple, multiple brands. I think I have, because I do social media coaching, but I also have some clients that just say, just do it for me. I can't. This is too much. So I have a brand kit for each of them. I have a brand kit for the nonprofits I work with. I think I have nine or 10 brand kits in mine alone. And when I was doing more management and less coaching, I think I had 27 brand kits at one point. So I wouldn't worry about running out of space. All right, excellent. Now we have one more. Let's see. We have, if I want to use the glow style, but with my brand kit lettering style, can I do that? Or is Canva locked, locked in and won't let me change it? What it is, is you use the effects to create the glow with your brand kit. So it's just a workaround. So the glow that they have there as one of the examples that I popped up, that is something that they preset in that text. What you can do is with the effects button on the top, there is a glow. For, so you can change that to any of your personal text and edit the colors. So there's a workaround. Yeah, so long Photoshop. This is, as soon as I realized this did this, I got rid of my Photoshop and this is so much cheaper. It does more. So here's a, a good question. This will probably take us to the end, but it's, uh, I think it's a good question. It says, I'm new to all of this, so maybe a dumb question, but how do you get what you created onto the platform you made it for? Okay, one, never ever a dumb question. So take that thought outside of your head. That is the last, very last piece of the presentation where you hit the share and you can either post it directly to your social media or you can download it to your phone and post it manually yourself. So may I share screen real quick again? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so. Of course, now it does not like me, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I know what it is. It's because I left the screen sharing instead of just closing it out. So it's still stuck in that full screen funsies. That's okay. We can go a little bit over so you can show. I think people want to see this again. Okay. okay. So what you do is right here. So you've got this image. I'm just going to pick one. But so, for example, I I have these games and leaderships that I've been working on. Okay, so this is a multiple choice. And let's say I wanted to take this and I wanted to share it to my profile. As you can see right here, we have different places I can do it. I can send it, I can send it to Instagram, Slack. I can download it as a PNG. I don't want to download all 100 pages of this because they'll take forever. And download one. And now it's just going to download straight downloading onto my computer or my phone. Or I'm not actually going to share to my profile, my social media right now, because this isn't ready for my social. But you see, how would you like to post this to Instagram? Would I like to immediately post from the mobile app or schedule the post from desktop? I'm on my desktop now, so I'd sit sketch up. I haven't connected them because I, I am on a match. I am on a different scheduler, which is why I download, but you connect your business and then that's how you would do it directly to your social media. Does that answer that question? 
I think so. So, okay. Excellent. Thank you. That takes us right to time. So, perfect timing. Um, Karen and I will download the questions and send them over to you. And it should Thanks. have the ability to, to reach out to those participants. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you might be able to sum them up and we can maybe add yeah. some of that to the recording link as well. But just a reminder, yeah. this yeah. session is recorded. The links that Faith was posting in the chat, we'll create a document with those links. So you can find those in uh, with the recording and the slide deck um, and all the other materials that Karen is sharing with us for this. And again, take advantage of our offer to uh, comment on our social media and, and get the free access to our clients. So I want to thank everybody for being with us. Karen, I want to thank you for your time. Great session. There's a lot of information. We appreciate it. We uh, may do another deep dive into Canva again in the future. But uh, uh, again, we appreciate everybody being with us on this Tuesday morning. We hope everybody has a great week and we look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Thanks. Bye.